Hey everyone, thanks for joining me wherever you are, whatever time it is. I'm really glad you've clicked the link. You're taking a look at the devotional with me today that you're choosing to spend some time with God as well. I'm going to pray real quick and then we're going to look at the verses and I want to keep it simple. I think it's good to keep it simple, uh, especially when we read these verses in Romans because they can be challenging, but I think to keep it simple um, and that application, application simple as it were, what can it mean for us today? I think would be a really good thing for us. So let me pray and we'll read the verses together. Father, thank you that we have time to open your word. May you speak to us through these verses. May the, the words that you've put on my heart resonate with those that are tuning in uh, with me today. In Jesus' name, amen. So these verses, chapter 8 of Romans, verses 5 and 6, they say, Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on things of the flesh, but those who live in accordance with the Spirit will have their minds set on things of the Spirit. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. There's an eternal nature to those first two lines that first verse death if we're going to be governed by the flesh our mind and a life and peace which sounds pretty cool if we're governed by the spirit if our mind is governed by the spirit and i like how paul words it that if we're acting in a way of the flesh and we're in accordance of things of the flesh our mind will be set on those things so even though we can set our minds on god and on those good things and that can help us live in accordance with him but choosing to live in accordance is is going to is going to help our minds truly be set on the things of the spirit so have a think have a reflect today or now what is it that your mind is is dwelling on because there's there's a choice to make it's things of the flesh or it's it's the spirit it's the way of god or it's the way of our of our nature and that's what makes it hard that's what makes this a challenge at times that we can do things and the outcome for us is what's my gain what's in it for me how am i looking better here um, and that could be in our workplace that can be in our relationships how can i make myself look better to all my colleagues if i'm going to be doing uh, more than others if i stay an extra half an hour and get something done that needs to be done for a few weeks down the line that's going to make me look good that's not the right attitude that's a fleshly thing then for me if i were to do that and we might be doing that at work because it then makes us look good in for our bosses or our peers but it's not necessarily the right way to go about it there might be other things that are on our minds there's a list uh, in galatians chapter 5 verse chapter 5 verses 17 to 21 who give that gives quite uh, a tough list of fleshly things maybe there's something there that resonates with you and, and you might already have something that might just be tripping us up it's in our nature we're going to get tripped up but there's a choice we can make today uh, and there's grace as well to be found there's no condemnation or judgment uh, here when we're when we're looking at these things what is it that your mind is set on? Because if we're setting our minds on the things of the spirit, if we're living in accordance with the spirit, my attitude to choosing to stay an extra half an hour to get a task done that didn't really need to be done today shouldn't be that I'm going to look good and look productive and look efficient, etc., etc., etc. And I'm saying that because I think at times reflecting on it, I can be guilty of that. How people perceive me uh, is a little bit of a shadow side to me. I want to make sure that I look good that I'm doing things the right way but my attitude towards it shouldn't be that of that selfish nature that I have it should be that I want to glorify God through these things I'm going to stay an extra 30 minutes get the things done that I need to get done because I want to glorify and honor you God I want you to be pointed through uh, pointed to through my extra work to get things done or whatever it is for you that might be tripping you up. Some of those things they might need to stop. It's things we need to cut out and not do. But there's some things that can be good. Um, but again, there's that mindset change because it's on the flesh, not on the spirit. What are you dwelling on? And is our choice to glorify and honor God through those things? Because if we're going to choose to glorify and honor God, if we're going to love others and help others uh, and and have him at the center, have him at the forefront of all the things that we're doing, being in line with his will. That's what it can mean to have a full life. That's what it can mean to live in accordance with the spirit. And if we're doing those things and asking every day, God, can 
you see my heart in wanting to glorify and honour you in all that I do today. Can you help me with the things I'm struggling on that don't glorify you, that makes my heart hostile to you? Because that's what it is to live in the flesh. It's to be in hostility to God. So there's the choice. Are we setting our minds on the fleshly things? Are we setting our minds on the spirit and glorifying him? Let me pray for you and you can go about whatever's next in your day. Father, thank you that we can open your word. Thank you that you have new things to say. Thank you that sometimes it's a great reminder, as you've put on my heart, to keep it simple and have that challenge again. We want to, as we close this video, put our phone down, whatever we've been watching, we want to go into the next thing we're doing, that it's going to be of an attitude to glorify and to honour you. We want you to be at the centre of all we're doing. Help us where we're tripping up. Um... Forgive us for the things that we're doing wrong, that are fleshly, that don't honour you, that don't glorify you. Thank you that you're with us in all things. But I pray for those watching that they glorify and honour you in all that they do today and the days going forward. That this may be a daily choice to have discipleship with you, to have full life with you, is to glorify and honour you in all we're doing, to live in accordance with with your spirit who lives and dwells in us. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining in. Excuse my hand there while I was praying. It moved around. But uh, enjoy your days, whatever you're doing. But let's glorify and honour him. Set our mind on him and glorifying him, not what the personal and selfish gains out of what we're doing today. That shouldn't matter. Glorifying, honouring him should. Let's live a full life.